Boom! What's up internet? Josh Miles here and uh, for those of you who found my channel through the One Wheel XR Plus unboxing video, uh, I'm glad that you found me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for how badly <laughs> I was riding this thing when I first got it. It's kind of hilarious, all the comments that said, I'm too old or I don't know what I'm doing or I've got uh, no idea, maybe I should get off, maybe I should find something else to do. It was the first time I'd ever really been on one of these boards and uh, this is harder than I expected it to be. <clears throat> Including I didn't really skate growing up, so I'm just learning things. So today's not just about um, demonstrating that I can actually ride this thing now. <laughs> it's actually for people like me who maybe are thinking about getting one of these one wheels. And it's a couple of the things that I wish that I would have known before I ever got on one. Um, so I'm gonna go through that list and uh, share with you guys some of my favorite tips for being successful on the one wheel. Hope that's helpful. Okay, so first off, balance isn't really the challenge here. The one wheel will do balance for you. So your job is just to kind of get comfortable with the board and relax. And just like other board sports, I think the more that you can relax when you're up on it um, and just enjoy the ride, the better you're gonna do. Number two is turning. I had a really hard time with this at first. And because of the, the fins that I put on here, it's easier to kind of nest my foot into this back side of the wheel. And it's easier to kind of lean in with toes and heels and, and turn. That leads me to number three is a few customizations. I didn't think at first that I wanted a fender on the board, but I ended up um, putting one on there just to be able to add the fins and that keeps all the junk from kicking up, either going through a puddle and getting um, mud splashed all over you or uh, just gravel and dirt and whatnot coming up on the board. So it's really handy to have a fender, even if uh, you're not necessarily scared of that open wheel in the middle. Number four is just getting comfortable carving, you know, being able to kind of sway a little bit back and forth. Just kind of toes in, and then heels in, and toes in, and heels in. I have my legs bent a little bit, and I think that, that all helps. So, once you get comfortable being up on the board, that's really the key to being comfortable for a long ride, because for a very long ride, you get stiff really quick, and your legs get really sore. And my last tip is about what they call the speed wobble. Now the first time I felt this speed wobble, I was going straight on, going pretty quick. Uh, and it's actually wobbling a little bit right now. But the first thing I did when I felt it was I jumped off the board, which is really stupid. Um, I landed hard on my right heel, and I think I bruised it pretty good. I don't know if I fractured it, but man, that foot was sore for a really, really long time. Um, what I learned was if you start to wobble, just easing back and braking with the board and then kind of going back into a car is a really great way to lose that sensation. And uh, the speed wobble is not your friend, so make sure and ease out of that. You don't want to try to plow through it to get it to stop. It just won't and it's a good way to freak yourself out and throw yourself off the board. those tips are helpful and uh, for those of you thinking about getting started I highly recommend the one wheel I love being out on this thing and just to like burn off some steam right around the neighborhood even if I'm not going anywhere just going for a quick cruise is just awesome and uh, I hope those tips help you get started and if you're not already subscribed make sure and hit like and subscribe to get more of these thanks for watching we'll see you next time